Hello and welcome to this session on how to create first selenium script in Java. Today we are going to learn how do we do the setup, how do we create a Java project in Eclipse, we will add selenium jars, we will write a very simple program to open a browser and then we will run and validate and in these five simple steps we will learn how do we get started with selenium in Java. Let us begin. The very first step is we have to do the initial setup and in the setup we have to check if Java is already installed on your system and then install Java if it is not and then we have to download and start Eclipse. So I already have separate video sessions recorded for these things so you can go to my channel and watch the Java 2 session in case you are on Windows on how to install Java on Windows. If you are on Mac you can watch Java 3 session and then you can watch the fourth session which is on getting started with Eclipse and the fifth session which is on writing the first Java program. So if you go to my channel and you can go to the playlist in the Java playlist you will find all these video tutorials and if you are a complete beginner in Java you can watch these sessions uh, but uh, the second and the third session based on your operating system and fourth and fifth are kind of mandatory for this session so that you can get started with Java and Eclipse and once you have done the initial setup let us go to step number two where we will create a Java project in Eclipse so let us go to our Eclipse and I am doing a right click here going to new Java project and I will say selenium test as the name and click on finish you can keep the rest of the values as default so here I have got a selenium test project and now we have created a project we have to add selenium jars to our project so you can go to your browser and you can go to the selenium hq website and here you can go to the download section in the download section you will go to this language where we will download the selenium jars for java so here you can find Java and we have to download this however the current version is 3 selenium 3 and we will not find selenium 2 which ha we have been using for a long time so what I'm going to do is in this particular session I will show you how do we get started with selenium 2 and in the next session I will show how do we replace selenium 2 with selenium 3 and the changes we have to make in our project so that you can understand each and everything in a very basic manner so for getting selenium 2 you have to go to this link for getting previous releases and here you will find all the previous releases I am going to 2.53 and here I will take this selenium server standalone jar so it will get downloaded as of now I will cancel the download because I already have it and once you have your jar you can open the jar so I will be having it in my download section this jar is placed here so what I'm going to do is I will have to add this jar to my project so I can open my project do a right click and go to build path configure build path and here I will click on add external jars and I will select my jar and add it to my project but a very uh, proper way of doing it or a different way of doing it is I will create a separate folder for storing all my libraries and all my jars within the project so that it becomes very handy so what I'm going to do is I will right click on my project and I will go to new and I will select folder so I'm going to create a folder inside my project and I will name the folder as lib or lib click on finish now I have got this folder here so in this folder I will place all my jars I will do a right click I will create a new child folder so that I can do the categorization and I will name this folder as selenium jars click on finish and now I will copy this jar from here and I will paste it inside this folder so once this is copied I will get my jar selenium server jar here so yes it has come here and now what I can do is I will just right click on this jar go to build path and say add to build path and as soon as I do this you can see this jar is being added 
to the reference libraries and also the icon has changed so this icon has changed to signify this jar is now being added in the referenced libraries of this project okay so we have added our selenium jar step number four is we have to write a very simple program to open the browser let us do that i will go to my package do a right click and i will create another package inside this package and i will name it test click on finish and now in the test package i will again do a right click and here i will create a class and i can name this class as first selenium test click on finish and we have got our class and now we have to write a main method so i can say public static void main string args so i have got my main method a different way or a shortcut way of writing a main method is you type main and then press ctrl plus spacebar on your keyboard and select this option so you will get the main method again so now i will create an object for the selenium web driver so i will say web driver driver equal to new and i want to use firefox so i will say firefox driver okay now you will get some errors you can hover over this error and it will give you options so we have to import this web driver from org open selenium and here we have to import the firefox driver so here you have to select this firefox driver from again from open selenium firefox okay and you can see these dependencies are now added now we can use this driver object to do various functions so i can say driver dot as soon as you will type uh, driver dot you will get some options so yes if you say driver dot you will get all the options or all the functions available within this class so here i have to get a browser so i will say get and you can see it is giving us this option i'll select this and inside the brackets you have to add the url of the website that you want to go to so let us go to our uh, selenium hq website so i'm just copying this selenium hq and here inside get i will just give this url no need of www so you i can say http selenium hq dot org and this is done let us test it so you can run it from uh, this button run button or i can do a right click and i can say run as java application so see this is opening a firefox browser and it will go to the selenium hq website and this is working fine so the step 5 is we have to run and validate which we have done also now it is opening the browser but not closing it let me close it manually first and now i can also say driver dot i can say close you can see the option of close or i can say quit so i am using driver dot quit, quit now so this should open the browser go to this website and then close the browser or quit the browser let me save and run it again run as java application and this time again it opened the firefox browser went to our website and now closed it so this is how we can start using selenium so we have done our step number five let us go to some helpful tips section so as i have shown in the project it is always very convenient and handy that you create a separate folder within your project to store all your libraries like i have done here i have created this folder lib and now i will place all my jars within this folder so that it becomes very handy for me to manage all my libraries we can create a maven project and have all our dependencies taken care by maven pom file but for now we will keep this structure let us do a very quick recap in this session we saw how do we do the setup we created a java project in eclipse 
we added the selenium jars we wrote a program to open the browser and then we ran and validated it i hope this session was very helpful in this five steps we have learned how do we get started with selenium in java in the next session we will replace selenium 2 with selenium 3 and see what changes we have to make in our project thanks for watching